Americans have been making contact with UFOs before there even was an America. In 1639, three prominent Puritans living in Boston were rowboating in a swamp and noticed a glowing green light in the sky. The light came from above, then settled on the shoreline and turned into the strangest thing. One witness described the being like this. When it ran, it was fast as an arrow and contracted into a figure of a swine, calling out in a most dreadful manner, boy, boy, come away, come away. And then, like an apparition, it was gone. We've been hearing spooky stories like this for the last 400 years, making headlines and piquing interest in fringe communities. And most kind of write it off as nonsense, like former senior Pentagon official, like Luis Elizondo. He didn't think UFOs were real. But that all changed when he was tapped to join an elite aerospace counterintelligence team where he saw things he couldn't believe. Imagine a technology that can do six to 700 G-forces, that can fly at 13,000 miles an hour, that uh, it can evade radar, and that can fly through air and water and possibly space. And oh, by the way, has no obvious signs of propulsion, no wings, no control surfaces, and yet still can defy the natural effects of Earth's gravity. That's precisely what we're seeing. In his role in the Aerospace Threat Identification Program, Elizondo says he received droves of reports from the Navy that UFOs were bobbing and weaving through their tight plane formations, zooming around th during the drills. He says, quote, they were also performing in ways that far exceeded our technological capabilities. If an adversary like Russia or China had this technology, it would represent a quantum leap beyond anything we have. During his time in the program, Elizondo says he learned about an ultra-secret government legacy program that possesses UFO materials of a non-human origin. What does that mean? And why doesn't the government come clean about what they know? Are we alone in this universe or not? Author of a new book, Imminent, Luis Elizondo himself joins me now. So Thank people, you very much. Of course. Welcome to Jesse Waters Primetime. People always say, well, what proof do you have? And what would you say? Sure. Well, it's not what proof I have. It's what proof the United States government has and has had for quite some time. Um, I think people would be shocked to know that the U.S. government has had many UFO or UAP, now we call them, programs in the past and uh, continue to have. And it's it's only been recently, I think, because of the, the veil of stigma and taboo is beginning to decrease, that elements within the U.S. government are now actually coming forward and having the conversation with Congress with the executive branch and the American people. What do we know about the aliens? We all have seen the images of the what look like drones or UFOs, whatever. But what about the little green guys? What do we know yeah. about those guys? Sure. Well, what our focus was was primarily mine was on the nuts and bolts of vehicles that were performing in ways that could, frankly, outperform anything that we had in our inventory at the time and, frankly, that we have right now. We're talking about vehicles, as you saw there in the video, that are, are leaps and bounds ahead of the very, very best capabilities we have, and we're pretty sure adversarial capabilities, and they're being encountered over controlled U.S. airspace and over sensitive military installations, and it appears they may even have the ability to affect our nuclear capabilities. Ooh. And so from a national security perspective, you know, this isn't grandma seeing some lights in the backyard. These are trained F-18 fighter pilots. Everybody sees the movie Top Gun. These are real Top Gun pilots that can distinguish the difference between an Su-22, a MiG-25, and an F-16 from 10 miles away. And by the way, make a split second decision do I shoot it down? And oh, by the way, that's also being backed up by gun camera footage and forward-looking infrared and other electro-optical data systems, collection systems, and radar systems. So my old job as a former special agent, if all this information, you've got the, the same information being reported at the same time, under the same circumstances, at the same place, by several different sort collection capabilities, um, we'd have no choice but to, the jury Jury would have to convict. We're, we're well beyond reasonable doubt. All right, well, hopefully we're capturing these suckers, reverse engineering them, and then using them against our enemies. That's what I would do. But we'll see what we end up doing in reality. Thank you so much. Everybody go check the book out. Imminent. It's going to be... My honor privilege. Thank you so much, Jesse. Thank you. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. 
You won't get it anywhere else.